Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Tears of the Kingdom. Last time we left off, we left Riju waiting patiently for us down there. Um, <laughs> guess I'll have to go, uh, figure out a way to collect her in a moment. Hi! None of that. Ooh, thank you, Tulin. You're always great. Okay, so... We have various mirrors and stuff set up here. Hmm. Question is, what exactly do I need to be doing? Because yeah, I remember we kind of left off last time. Because this is this is a new area we got up to. We can move these things as well. Um. Got to be something that will project some light. Down here. Hmm. Can't go in there. Ooh. What is this? Hi. Aha! Room of natural light. In the Gerudo Desert. Alright, and... We have some things hanging out in here. See you. Okay. Now, maybe what it wants me to do, that's not what I meant to do. Maybe it wants me to do this. That'll get me high enough so that I can do this. Almost. Almost. Close, but no cigar. What if I do this? There we go. So the light definitely goes out there now. Um, I just need to figure out how to make it actually work here. Um, there we go. That works. That works. <laughs> Yay, I've done it. Beautiful. Okay, and that... Down there. Okay, and there's another switch. There's more to do up here, though? Let's go see what this is. Though. Go check on this. What do you do? Ooh, okay. Yeah, now Riju can come with me. Yes! Alright, get up here, Riju. Alright, there are some constructs. Room of Offered Light. There are some constructs in here. Um... Whoop. Okay. All of you gather around. There we go. Here we are. Um... Let's grab my weapon here. We do need to go ahead and have... You help me with this. So that needs to go bye-bye. The Constructs and the Gibdo, they are fighting each other, right? I'm not crazy. Aren't they super fighting each other? I thought I saw that. Uh, don't want to deal with that. Hello? Go away, please. Um... Ooh, wait, wait, wait. There we go. Oh, you blocked it! Uh, Riju, can you come over here, please, instead of... attacking? Thank you. There we are. Uh-huh. Kablam! Oh, you ran! Don't run away! Stay here with me and get bonked by my giant bonk weapon. Oh, thank you. Good, good, good. Thank you, Tulin. Love you, too. Alright, cool. So, that is taken care of. And, yeah. We're pretty much good. Cool. 
Uh, looks like we can pull some things out there. Excuse me. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Is there something up there I need to do something with? I think there is. Ooh, I can't reach that? Really? Damn. I thought I would be able to reach that. Um... Hmm... I'm guessing up there is the thing I gotta hit, right? That would be my guess. That would absolutely be my guess. Which is why I was gonna try to ascend... ...up there. But, alright, if that's not gonna work, then... ...I guess we'll figure something out with this. Okay, that's weird. Why is there a pot in there? So weird. Why are there so many pot things? Alright, give me the torch. That's what this is for. Okay, so... Um, put that right there. Put this right here. Go ahead and grab you, and get up here. Alright, don't mind me, Riju. I'll be back in a moment. Just gonna go up here and see- aha, uh -huh. so yeah, it is exactly what I thought. Um... Okay... Hmm... So, I'm thinking then... Maybe that's why the pot was there in the middle of the thing, to kind of weigh it down so it wouldn't rise as quickly? I have to assume that was the case. You put that in there, so it doesn't rise as quickly, and then we grab... I mean, I guess I could get this mirror shield and just do it this way. Can't carry any more shields, though. Um, alright, let's just grab one of these. And... Do this. Alright, this should work. Let's just, uh... Set this in a better spot. And put you... Right there. Alright, so... Need my torch. And... Arise! Okay, yeah, see, it's going slower now. So I think this will give it enough time to actually activate the thingy. Because it's going slow enough. I think this will be just good enough. Come on... Yeah! So that's, that's what the pot was for. That's why they were signposting with the pot so hard. Alright, cool. And there's another one of those for us to activate. Good stuff. Read you. Come here. There we are. And... Kablamzo. Alright. There's another one active. I only activated, like, what, one last time? So let's see how many more we can get done here. Alright, so that wasn't so bad. Um... Now we just gotta get out of here and go see what else we can get into. So, the next ones are on floor two and floor one, apparently? And I can keep going up, like, really, really high. We gotta go see what potentially is going on there. There were more of the thingies over here, too. That I could hit. Yeah, because these are options too. Now, yeah, that's that's what it is. That's what it is. So I move this out of the way and it'll go straight across. Yeah. And now I can move that into the other one over there. What a cool I, I like this dungeon a lot. This is a very, very cool dungeon in my opinion. Definitely like it more than the Goron one, and most of the others, quite frankly. 
But I like light puzzles, so... Not light out puzzles, though. Lights out can, can take a hike. Okay, um, uh, nope. Nothing there. There we go. And I specifically need to move it, like... Can I move this down just a bit, just to change the angle, slightly? There we go. Good. The angle was just slightly off. Alright, so now I just need to get up there. Uh, which should be pretty easy, because I can just ascend. Now the problem is Riju won't be able to get up there, and I do definitely need Riju. So, how am I going to go about getting Riju up here? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This is not where I want to be. Okay. Where was that thing that I just opened? It was up there, yeah. But if I take this, it just puts me all the way up to the top there. Could I just climb it? Yeah, because that took me like all the way up to floor 7 in a place where I did not want to be. Okay, I think I can see... If I do it like right here, it probably won't do that. This will probably just take me like right... Here. Good. This is where I want to be. Okay. And then I think I might be able to do that again to get where I want to go. Unless this takes me all the way up. Nope, takes me all the way up. Don't want to be there yet. Okay, let's try this. Here we go. Now, can you do me a solid link and get up there? Thank you. Alright, so what does activating this do? This just gets me in here. Which, what does this even do for me? It better be a way to get... Read you. Uh huh. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, room of light and flame. So I open this. Um. None of that, please. Okay. Well, I managed to break that. Topaz staff, go. Now, Freezy Staff, go! Or Freezy Spear, go! And now... Bonk! Thank you. Good. Uh-huh. Whoa, Riju, how did you actually get in here? What? I... Did not expect Riju to be in here. There we go. Um... Mm -hmm. I got kind of bonked there. That was not ideal. Whew. Give me my staff back. The rest of this garbage back. How did you actually get in here? Can you just walk here? Oh, you totally can. You can't just walk over here. I, I, I thought I was still going to have to struggle getting you over here, but no, you made it. Because the, the struggle with this is Link has way better abilities for actual traversal than Riju does. So I gotta kind of transport Riju around the dungeon. Okay, only one more battery to go. Are we gonna be able to fight the boss this episode? We might actually be able to. Might actually be able to. Oh yeah, I forgot, I have fuck tons of meat. That's right. Cool. Let's just eat some of this to heal up a little bit. Yeah. Because that one thing kind of bopped me. Okay, so now that we've done that, now we just have to figure out what the deal with this one is. Which... feels easier said than done. Right? Because it's right in here. And if we're looking from here... Fourth floor may be how we get down there? Unless it's the seventh floor. 
Seventh floor's gotta be where we go at the end though, right? Let's see, if we look up at the ceiling there... Doesn't look like there's a way to drop in from the ceiling. To the right though... There is this little path. Uh-huh. Is it really that simple? Because it looks like... You go up here... And then... That platform doesn't move. Mm. Yeah, it looks like it's right through here. Like right, right through this. Guess not. But it clearly connects like right here. Oh, really? Is it just blocks that I move? Oh my god. <laughs> it's just blocks that I move. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it all. Out of here. It was just blocks. That was it. Alright, well that was incredibly simple. And could have been done way earlier. Read you. Alright, there we go, there we go. Bonk. Good stuff. All right, we've charged all of the batteries with lightning. That should wake up the mechanism in the center. Let's go, Link. All right, let's be on our merry way, why don't we? Nothing else to grab in here. It looks like we got a boss fight to go do. So, now I probably, I imagine we're gonna be dealing with lightning. If we're not, Wearing my just most resistant equipment would be best. But I I feel like we're gonna be dealing with lightning. I feel like we're gonna be dealing with lightning. We'll we'll rock this until I'm until I'm showed that I should not rock that. Um we'll use the master sword as well. What kind of crazy stupid material do we have to put on it? Silver Bacoblin horns are quite strong. Just drop that. All right, this activates it. Yes, it does. Let's go see what we're gonna get into, Riju. I do believe we are fighting some kind of crazy Gibdo. Uh. What is... Link, I think this platform is about to move. Yeah, I did activate it. Up, up, up we go. All right, so what are we dealing with? Obviously a lot of Gibdo hives, but... Oh? Hmm, something is shining over there. There it is, the secret stone. Yeah, and we're about to get bopped. Just a moment here. There it is. What do you want me to do? We can't get in there. Oh, oh, I see the big purple up there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, obviously that. Obviously that. The other ones were inactive, so I was looking. But that'll do it. Hi. You're back. Scourge of the Lightning Temple, Queen Gibdo. Let's go. We'll finish it off here and now. All right. I need food. I need food first off and foremost. Um. Let's go ahead and take that. Um. Do I have anything that's like a small heal? Um, I do have increased defense right now. Heat resistance. I mean, I'm not gonna need these as much anymore, so... Got it cornered here. Okay. Uh-huh. What are you doing? That is what you're doing. Okay. Where the hell did it go? There it is. 
Near you. Can I like stun you in some way? There we go, that'll help. Okay. Bang, 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 bang. Okay, so yeah, we just we just do enough damage to it. And uh Ow. Yeah, I'm fine. Oh, I missed. Okay. Ow. Come on. Got it. Alright, now you're gonna start summoning your friends, right? Because I see them. Yep. Alright, here we go. Okay, I need to heal. I need to heal. Let's have some of this glow meat. I'm not, I'm not, don't you worry. You just get ready with that. Uh-huh. There we go. Oh, okay. Ooh. Ooh, they don't like the light. Oh, they don't like the light. Uh-huh. Owie. Okay. So we're protected while we're standing in this. Where are you at? There you are. What the hell is hitting me now? Oh, they're spewing poison at me. They can stay far enough away. Oh, but sometimes they fall. Where are you at? It's kind of hard to see. Uh-huh. Can't read you. I understand. There's a lot going on right now. Okay. Get ready to shoot you. Come on, come on, come on. Where did it go? There it is. No! Right as soon as it got deactivated. God damn it. Okay, whatever. We should just focus on... We should just focus on hitting more of these. Mm-hmm. Stay in this until we're safe. Okay, shoot it. There we go. The more of those we destroy... What? That didn't get it? Oh, was it? It was not... It was, wasn't summoning any, so it wasn't vulnerable. Fuck. Uh-huh. There we go, that one's down. So we got another one to choose from now. Yeah, I'm kind of blinded when I'm sitting in this thing. Uh... There we go, that helps a little bit. Go away, you big bastard. There you go. I was trying to do it the way that the game wanted, but, uh... Then it, uh got weirdly difficult to do, so... There you go. Ow! Okay. Um... That was my bad. I'm trying to save my really, really good food here. But we should probably be a little safe. Read you, where did where in the hell did you go? There you are. Okay. Gotcha. Oh, okay. That was a lot. Definitely seemed a little bit hard, like staying in the light so you're protected from the other Gibdos sometimes. 
um, to then focus on everything else going on because you were kind of blinded by the light. But if you just destroyed the four pillars, the Gib does wouldn't have been a problem, but I saw the opportunity to just kill it without having to do that, so I did. Wasn't too bad, but yeah, I kept getting blinded. <laughs> it's like having the sun in your eyes. Hello, Secret Stone. Cool fight, though. Cool fight. A little bit of a pain sometimes, but, uh... That was mostly because I'm a, I'm a, I'm a baby dum-dum. Yeah. Cool. Alright, Riju. You ready? Alright, let's get our fourth sage and then see what happens after we finish getting our four main things of the story. <laughs> daughter of the Gerudo. Uh, I know that voice. You're the one who's been talking all this time. Yes, your ancestor from a time long past. I was a Gerudo warrior who served the first king of Hyrule and a sage who called down lightning, just as you can. I've seen you brandish the power you have in defense of our people. I would expect nothing less from my descendant. You are the pride of the Gerudo. The Demon King is responsible for sending the monster that caused the Sand Shroud. But the monster's true purpose was to prevent you from obtaining that stone. My secret stone. Demon King? Secret stone? <laughs> Don't worry. You will understand soon enough. Let me tell you of events in our distant past. The events that shaped our people's destiny during the Imprisoning War. Long, long ago, when the Kingdom of Hyrule was still young, A great evil, the Demon King, emerged. He attacked the innocent and sought the destruction of Hyrule. He was our chief before he changed. His obsession with power transformed him into a monster. Raru, the first king of Hyrule, and six warriors rose to oppose him. I'm proud to have been one of them. We face the Demon King. But only after Raru gave us the secret stones. Artifacts that amplified the abilities of those who carried them. I, the Sage of Lightning, fought by my fellow sages in battle with my own secret stone. But we were no match for his overwhelming power. He endured our strongest attacks. Even the lightning strikes I called down. King Raru knew we had lost the battle against the Demon King. He made the ultimate sacrifice to imprison the Demon King, to seal him away. That was the imprisoning war. These cutscenes are so weird, because they differ very slightly, so I still feel the need to watch them, but... <laughs> Another of the six sages, the Sage of Time, came to visit me, and she set the Gerudo on our destined path. The magic restraining the Demon King will eventually be undone. When that time comes, you must help Link. He is a noble swordsman who will fight that monster. So please, he will need your assistance. Lend him your power, the Gerudo's control of lightning. The path of the Gerudo was clear at that moment. We wish nothing more than to eliminate the Demon King. 
We are responsible for his very existence in this world, and for that we must make amends. I swear to you that when the Demon King returns, the Gerudo Sage of Lightning will awaken once more. The Gerudo Sage and her people will fight alongside your swordsmen. But yeah, it rehashes basically all of the stuff with and like now Ganon. I told you all I can of the imprisoning war and of our people's destiny. Each time we see this, so we have saved Gerudo Town, but the Demon King still remains a threat. Riju, daughter of the Gerudo. You must take up my secret stone and honor the vow I made to the Sage of Time long ago. Fight alongside the swordsman, Link. There we go. Awaken to your new power, Riju. So it's my destiny to fight by your side. <sighs> my destiny as a sage, my duties as chief, and fighting side by side with you? <laughs> Sounds like fun. I will gladly strike down the so-called Demon King. I guess it's time to claim my destiny. The same power as everybody else. <laughs> Calm down, Riju. <laughs> Thank you kindly. Now we're just missing one ring, which is the, uh, the other Zonai we need to get. Alright, cool. As one of the sages that we're missing. Yeah, they always make such a big deal about witness my new power, but they all do the same thing, which is just summon, summon a shadow clone of themselves, basically. Use that ring to call upon my power whenever you need it. <laughs> it seems I can finally repay you. Okay, should we head back to town? Yay, the sandstorm has been cleared, and we are good, and everything's great. I'm wondering if this final sage has something to do with the ring ruins that we still have not been able to investigate up until this point. Because, um, yeah, we need one more sage. So maybe maybe Poro will give us some information about it or something. Zelda can't, obviously. Unless she left more messages for us. And would you look at that? Now we can do some exploration of the desert again. Yay, we did it. Cool, cool, cool. Alrighty, so that's, like I said, that's four down. We're good. 
Yeah, that cutscene does not differ a lot between the various four that we get. Um, it, it basically rehashes Rauru sacrificing himself and the Demon King being a thing every single time. It just has a little bit of extra flavor text. This one was a little bit extra interesting because they are specifically the Gerudo and Ganon is Gerudo, so... Ah, huh, Link. Grateful to you for helping me save the Gerudo. I've received reports that ever since the Sand Shroud dissipated, Gibdo attacks have almost entirely stopped. No doubt it'll take some time to rebuild, but it is thanks to your help that we can live on the surface again. Half of all the Gerudo people, thank you. You're welcome. I'm still glowy. Mm. Sorry to say, though, that despite the safety of Gerudo Town no longer being a pressing concern, we still haven't been able to uncover any information on the whereabouts of the Princess Zelda. Mm. Actually, Buliara, I do have a small piece of information regarding Zelda. I experienced a vision when I took the secret stone in my hand. The person that my ancestor referred to as the Sage of Time looked identical to Zelda. Someone who just happens to look like Zelda, that doesn't explain everything that's been going on. Hmm. It's impossible to deny that someone resembling Zelda has been spotted across Hyrule and that terrible events follow her. The Zelda we know and the Zelda we saw in the vision of the distant past are incredibly similar. Hmm. If the Zelda in the past is our Zelda, then who is this other person? I must uncover her true identity. Hmm. I'm sorry, Link. Although the threat of the Sand Shroud and the Gibdos is past, I cannot leave Gerudo Town at the moment. Things need time to settle. However, we'll take on the task of searching this area for any signs of Zelda. Hmm. And with my newfound power as a sage, I'm still able to support you. I swear that I'll do everything I can to help. Moral Val Riju. Oh. Link, you said you had already visited Rito Village, Goron City, and Zora's Domain. I'm sure lookout landing with value and information you can share. Why not go there and see if you can help? Hope your travels bring you back here again. Look forward to such a reunion. Hey, and yeah, it's telling me to go to lookout landing, so... Yeah, that makes sense. Riju of Gerudo Town. Complete! Alright, and you investigated the four regions, hoping to find clues. She appeared each time, and... So did someone who looked a lot like her in the ancient memories you saw via the secret stones. Maybe Pura can make sense of this. All right, so yeah, we gotta go there next. Do my best to learn of what is happening with Zelda before we meet again. Make sure to come back and visit. Don't forget, even if I cannot be by your side, you can always call me as a sage, yeah. All right, well, look at that. We're, uh, we're good now. Why don't we go hop into a shrine real quick and then maybe we'll end this episode off. Um, I do think, as I've mentioned before, that my main goal for quote-unquote finishing this game, seeing as it's just going to be an endless LP if I try to do absolutely everything like I usually do, um, I think my goal is going to be all of the shrines and obviously all of the story stuff. Um, not sure about light roots yet. We'll see. Light roots will probably all be done. But yeah, we need to see. Tulin, I need you. Thank you, Tulin. All right, let's get this uh, heavy armor off. We're burning alive inside of it. Uh, but yeah, so I think that's going to be my like, what what I'm going for as far as completion is concerned. Just because that, that seems the most viable and doable if I ever want to play anything besides this game ever again. I'm still having a totally fun time with it and I think this game is very, very fun and great. But, Obviously, I do need to get to other things at some point. I think this is getting very close to being the longest game I've ever played. Which is Val's guaranteed the power to summon her avatar. Yep. Alright, well, they're hanging out up there. Man, I really wish we had somebody like, uh, Ravali, who could just send us up to the air so we could constantly glide everywhere. Would be super useful. Alright, so, yeah, there's the shrine I want to go to now. Sorry, Tulin, I baited you. Don't mind me. I still think Tulin is super wholesome and adorable. I love him. Wow. Are these different? Have I got a picture of those? Or are they like desert cranes? No, desert herons, rather. Hi. You keep doing your thing back there. Have I got a picture of you before, actually? I have. Alright. Up here we go. There's probably a bunch of new stuff in Gerudo Town we can do as well. 
now, much like there was in like the Goron town and stuff like that. So that'll be stuff to think about too, but like I said, we'll we'll see what all we're gonna accomplish here. Uh hi. Well, that is an issue, isn't it? Oh, I'm burning again. Um How far will this go across? It will go over there. Maybe not. No, it's not going to go that far. Okay, well, I need to get over there, but how are we going to do so? I guess what I could do is make an absurdly long one of these. Build, like, a boarding plank. Oh, yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to make a boarding plank. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to go pirate on their asses. This is going to be funny. Um, so... Yeah... Boom. You... And... We'll do one of these... And then one of these. And then I can grab this from up here, and we can do one of these. Yeah? Now... I think this will be long enough. Eh, might be a little short. Might be a little short. All right, let's uh, let's just give it a shot. See what we can uh, see what we can do with this. There's a thing right over there. Okay. Ooh, there is more over here. Guess I could just do that. And then get like right over here. Uh huh, you're trying to throw rocks at me. Guess this isn't really helping that much, huh? Uh now that I'm here though. Uh I get under here and descend. Okay, yeah, that works. Um, hi! I don't really need to fight you guys. So, bye-bye. I'm just gonna go hit up your shrine and be on my merry way. Goodbye. Yeah, getting across there was easier than I was thinking. I liked the idea of making a giant plank for boarding, but... You know. Make good use of scaffolds or vehicles. Oh god, another one of these. The Shrine of Prisons... Uh, was, uh, lure. You're saying I should lure them different places? Hmm. Interesting. Uh-huh. Okay. Ooh, fire fruit. Give me some of those. And there we are. Now, what does it mean by lure? Right. Okay. No, you hear nothing. Okay. Let's see here. Now, could fuse. <laughs> The bomb barrel to the stick. Yeah. That didn't kill you, surprisingly. Kind of shocked. Are you gonna walk this way? No. Okay. Just gonna have to come over here and kill you. Whoop. There you go, there's my old wooden bow. Some construct horns. Ow, damn it. How did all of that miss? Barely out of range there. Uh. Hmm. I wanted to knock more of them into the water. It seems like some are falling into the water because they're like dying. I don't know how though. Yeah, because some of them keep taking damage. 
How are you idiots taking damage? Mm. Okay, what's going on over here? Interesting. Are these like laser beams actually hurt? I guess so. Hey, come here. There you go. I guess that's just what it means. Just lure them into the traps right here. Yeah. I guess so. That's it? Really? There you go. Burn alive. Uh huh. My thick stick, no! Oh, I was trying to knock you back, but I missed the crit. Howie, it would have hurt if you had actually hit me. Okay. Alright, let's, uh, fuse... this... that. Alright. Now we're doing damage. So yeah, there's like various traps for me to lure them in. A lot of them just walked into it on their own. I like to try and lean into what the challenge actually wants me to do. So. Bye bye. Bum, bum, bum. Well, that was super easy. My equipment will be returned to me. Thank you. Alright. Good, good, good. Give. Oh. Thank you. That is actually a good weapon. Bing. Whew. Da -da 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 -da. Oh yeah, I forgot I used all of my uh, Light of Blessings last time. It definitely seems like we still have a pretty good amount of game left to go because I'm missing quite a few heart containers. And at least there's quite a bit of the main story left to go. I'm missing quite a few heart containers and I don't really have that many shrines left. So that leads me to believe that yes, we still have quite a few bosses to go. So, all right. Well, I think we're gonna go ahead and end this episode off here. Hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you next time for some more.